yeah, the prices on the retro games, at least for the first party titles like the Marios and the Sonics and stuff like that, yeah, they're getting kind of crazy. They're expensive. But for gamers like me, people that like a lot of arcade games, and I'm assuming gamers like you, this show will go on. So here's all my pickups. Well, most of my pickups, I'm sure I'm missing a couple out. And I actually have quite a few games here. My goodness. This is, uh, I had no idea I had this many games. Let's start with the Nintendo Switch. I could probably do a video on the Nintendo Switch alone. I'm going to roll through these. So here we go. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. Got this at Walmart. Tarek and Flashback Collection. This is just the four games. It's not the strictly limited two discs or two carts or whatever with all the games on it. But this was uh, 30 bucks. Yeah. The game store. Pretty decent deal for four Terrican games on the Switch. Death End Request. Blasphemous. You guys should look for this. This is probably going to be rare and sought after in the probably not so distant future. 2D action game. Uh, really cool. I haven't spent a ton of time with this yet. I got a ton of games here and I, I work all the time. So I haven't spent a ton of time with a lot of these games. But uh, you know, I just, you know, I like video games. So Blasphemous. <laughs> uh, ordered this from Play Asia, Legend of Mana. And another one I found at a retro game store, a game store in my area, Golden Force. Uh, okay, here's some shooters that I got on the Switch and uh, one PS4 title, and we will move on. I'm not trying to spend a ton of time with the Switch because you know, I, I try to focus on more retro stuff, but th most of this stuff is retro stuff, even though it is for the Switch. Um, the Cotton Reboot. Okay, so this is a, a remake of the very first game, and then it's got the Sharp X6800 version, which is, is touted as, as the best way to play the original Cotton um, on the cart. So... Pretty cool. Found this. Actually, I got this one on uh, Play Asia, and then I got uh, this one from a game store, and it was pretty. It's like thirty bucks, forty bucks, something like that. But it's the U.S. release, the North American release, so it's in English. So I'd like to get the soundtrack for this. Like God, like do I have to buy a collector's edition just to get the soundtrack? Maybe I should have got a collector's edition. I don't know. But anyway, cotton for the PS4, and then I got uh, Darius Burke's Another Chronicle or EX. Darius Burst EX Plus, not another Chronicle. Yeah, another Chronicle. There's so many different Darius. Like, how, I played this, right? How, how is this much different than uh, the Darius Burst uh, Chronicle Saviors that, that came out on the PS4? Like, I don't know. There's so many different Darius games and Darius ports now, which is good because a lot of this, uh, there's like a rare PC engine, what Darius Alpha, that, that, that was like a super rare game that recently got ported. So that, that's a good thing. I, I think that's the case, but... Anyway, Darius Burst EX, another Chronicle. And one that I have not opened yet. And this is a, this is a rare, this is a rare shooter. I haven't even played this yet, but Space Blaze now, one of my longtime supporters on this channel, CeeLo, he pointed out that he wanted this on the PS4. Anyway, we ended up finding uh, a, a way that he could order it, uh, which was from Amazon, Amazon Germany. But I found this one actually on eBay and it was like, like, 30 bucks and then like 10 bucks shipping or something like that but it's, it's a shooter now um i actually messaged uh mr radical reggie about this game and he uh he said that this game sucks right and and that's why i haven't opened this yet because that when he says again that dude buys a lot of games he goes to a lot of games so i you know he's not super super critical on games either so <laughs> if he says a game sucks and a shooter sucks and i know he likes shooters that oh man Maybe I'll just leave this one uh, sealed up. But, you know, I'm not a huge game collector, but obviously for shooters, um, you know, because a lot of that, you know, stuff that I don't plan on playing, I end up selling or listing online because I get a lot of this stuff from the flea market, you know. Um, but as far as game collecting, I do kind of collect for the Switch. I, I, for, for whatever reason, it's just got the versatility of that system. You can play it on the handheld. You can play it on the TV. For the shooters, you know, you can play it in uh in, in, in Tate mode. You can play it in, in Yoko mode. You can play it on Tate and Yoko on the TV. Like you can do everything with the Switch for shooters. So, uh, yeah. Oh, here's another one. I found this one at the flea market. The Atlier Dusk uh, trilogy that came out on the Switch. These are just uh RPGs that originally I believe came out on the PS3. These that's where I played most of these games. You know, have heavy uh, uh, crafting uh, elements in these games. I just remember playing one or two of these on the PS3, and I found this at the uh, at the flea market. Because um, sometimes I find Switch games at the flea market, but this one's actually going up in price. So that 
And this was a $30 GameStop purchase. This was uh, this release here. Not this release, but this specific release was a GameStop exclusive, although other publishers did release it in North America and other places. But Skullgirls Second Encore, um, this is, uh, I guess this is like a, I guess this had like Dojin Origins. This was like a Dojin like PC fighting game that was uh, had like a huge fan following that eventually got ported to modern consoles. So I think that's the story here with Skullgirls. But, you know, I've played this pretty cool fighting game. But, you know, my a local GameStop had it and it was like 30 bucks and it was a GameStop exclusive. So, of course, I got it. Like, look at that. That's a lot of Switch games. Like, damn. A lot of Switch games. Okay, all right, so we're going to move on to some more, uh, what I consider to be more interesting stuff. Like, there's a lot of cool games here. We can probably do, do videos on a lot of these games, like the Cotton Reboot, we have Blasphemous. This is this is going to end up being like like a hidden hidden gem on the uh, on the system, which uh, it really isn't that that much of a thing in 2021 because everything you can download, or most things you can download, not everything, unfortunately. But okay, let's move on. Okay. Here's a, a pickup I, uh, this is when I got the cotton on the PS4. I found this at a retro game store in Pennsylvania. This is a Super Nintendo shooter and Blazion. I never played this before. Um, as soon as I saw the price, 45 bucks, like, you know, anything like 60 and under on the, on the Super Nintendo, if it's a shooter, I'm in. I never seen this before, never played this before. Now playing this game your your craft kind of changes shapes in a sense, kind of, not really like the way it does them across scrambled Valkyrie, but geez, I'm losing focus here on this camera. Here we go, lazy on. But it, it it vaguely reminded me of Macross scrambled Valkyrie. Um, not the greatest shooter, but obviously you can see it's an at Atlas brought it over here. I mean, I guess that's kind of cool seeing a logo like that on a shooter, right? But it, it's decent. I'd say it's probably worth about the the forty five uh, dollars, and I looked up the price on this online. It's an it's an original cart, and it's in great shape. So I feel like I got a pretty pretty decent deal there, especially from a retro game store. They obviously didn't look up the price on that in the past, I guess, couple months. But anyway, blaze on. Uh, next up, let's switch gears over to the Dreamcast. Oh, the Dreamcast and the Saturn. So a few weeks ago, I found this uh, Dynamite Deca. Um, and for those of you that don't know this released out here in the U S is uh, dynamite cop, not dynamite cop, <laughs> die hard trilogy. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Die hard trilogy on the, on the Sega Saturn. And I do believe that is a expensive game. This is like an arcade beat em up. Now you switch scenes in this game from like room to room and stuff like that. And it kind of, there's, there's it, the load times could get annoying if you're not used to, to retro games for, for like a modern gamer. Now, I don't know how systems like the poly mega are going to handle games like this. I don't know if their, their emulation is going to cut back on the cut scenes on, on games like this, like dynamite Deca. That would be awesome. And, and reasons like that, if they could do that with the Poly Mega, that's, that's more reason for me to, I've been following that system for a really, really long time. I got a, a pretty big retro game collection disc based that Poly Mega. I could do some good with that. If the emulation is, is good enough, you know, I play a lot of shooters and stuff, so it's gotta be decent emulation. If I notice any lag, it's probably going to be a, a, a no go for me, but uh, yeah, this wasn't expensive. It was a flea market find. This was like, uh, as you can see, there's a crack in the case. Maybe, I don't know, 10, 15 bucks, something like that at the flea market. It wasn't much, but a pretty fun game, you know, worth the, the cost of admission, I'd say. And I, I don't think it's that expensive online either. And then we move on to this game, and it's just Dynamite Deca 2, or this was released as Dynamite Cop here in the U.S. on the Dreamcast. Now, I've heard, I've heard that this is like one of the best video games ever made when I, I heard that. I was super excited to get this thing home and play it. Threw it in my Dreamcast. <sighs> the damn thing doesn't work. For, for whatever reason, it don't work. It don't load. I don't know why. The disc is super clean. It looks like it's brand new. Whoever had it, had it took care of it. <sighs> I ran it through a, the, the greatest disc resurfacer in my area. That did nothing. Didn't work on my Dreamcast. I went to the flea market. I hooked up seven Dream... I'm, I'm exaggerating here. It wasn't seven. I hooked up three. I hooked up three different Dreamcasts. And it didn't work on any of them. And I got the boot disc to load on all three. So what am I doing something wrong here? Is there like a secret way to play this game that I don't know about? Please let me know in the comments down below if there's something I need to do to get this game to boot. I'm using uh, Utopia Boot 2.0. But I can't, even if without the Utopia, if I throw a Japanese disc in my system, 
it'll at least recognize the disc. It won't even recognize the disc on this. So I don't know, you know, please let me know in the comments if you own this game and if you've experienced problems with Dynamite Deca 2, at least the Japanese version. I don't know if I need a Japanese Dreamcast to boot this thing. If if, if that's the problem, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Is this like some type of late release thing that, you know, has certain type of security on it that I'm not aware of? Again, let me know in the comments. But that's why I kind of sound negative about Dynamite Deca 2. But I am super excited to play it. As a matter of fact, I might just keep the case, download the game, and just play it that way, burn it onto a disc. As a matter of fact, I think I'll do that because then, you know, that way I can play the U.S. version and play it in English. So, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. We're really going to switch gears here. Okay. So, as far as music goes, I'm more of like a, like a hip-hop head. I like rap music, you know. I'm a, I don't want to say the W word. You know, people might get offended. You know I'm talking about the W word. You know, a white boy that listens to hip-hop. Anyway, people called me the W word back in the 90s. But, uh... I do like I like punk rock and I like some metal. Now this is a uh, this is a metal album I've been looking for for a very long time. This is Razor Wire, Another Dimension. This is like a great it's it's a modern uh, metal group that kind of has like hints of like eighties hair metal in it, and another group that it, it's kind of similar to them that they were oddly enough featured on on the they were both featured on the same movie called Deathgasm but another group called Elm Street is a group I'm I'm obsessed with Elm Street right now they're again like a modern metal group that has you know like old school roots and you know or like 80s hair metal uh, vibes you, you, you just got to check them out if you like metal check out Elm Street but also check out uh Razorwire now you can find vinyl of this. You do, you go to like uh, Discogs and stuff like Disco G's or whatever you want to call it. You can find the vinyl, which is where I got this. I got this on disc. I guess that's how you pronounce that. Discogs. I paid fifty bucks for this brand new. It was sealed. There's a little crack in the case. So as soon as I saw that crack in the case, I was like, I'm popping the seal. I just got this in a protector right now. But this is a metal album. This is this is rare. Okay, this is very rare. This is this is probably rarer than one of the rarest video games I own right now. I've only seen one of these for sale in seven years. I've only found one. You can find the vinyl for this, and oddly enough, that I think they made less of the vinyl than they did of the CDs. You can find the vinyl for this just because vinyl's traded around a little bit more than I think CDs are. This is very rare. It kind of pained me to pop the seal on this thing, but you know, I, I ripped it to my my uh, phone and I got it on my computer and everything. I'm bumping this, but razor wire, another dimension. My God, look at that cover. Look at that cover art. Amazing. I wish I had a t-shirt of this. Damn. This is like, if I could find a t-shirt of this from like some type of concert that did like a tour uh, t-shirt, this is like the type of thing I'd pay like a couple hundred dollars for on eBay used like for a t-shirt of this, something like that. But yeah, <laughs> razor wire, another dimension. If you like metal, check them out. And uh, okay, so this is a game I bought on. Uh, bought this one on eBay a little while back. This is the sequel to a game called Sky Gunner. I actually got this recently. This is the sequel I'm about to show you to this game. Okay, and that game is Gunner's Heart. I, I still have not have been have yet to play this shit. It's still, it's sealed. The seal's not perfect on this thing. This is the Japanese version uh, of this game. Um, so yeah, I just, I just haven't, I'm going to pop the seal on this thing. I just haven't played it yet, even though I have it in a little plastic retro protection case, but yeah, this is like an ar arcade sequel to, to Sky Gunner. Um, I mean, you can look up uh gameplay footage or maybe I'll grab some and throw it on there for you. Uh, this, this looked interesting. This was 50 bucks. So I ought to, I'd have paid 50 bucks for it used, but this isn't a game that comes up often at all for uh sale. And it's the Japanese version. There's a pal, version that I, I wasn't even aware of um that was available i guess years ago you can't get it anymore but if you like sky gunner you know there's a sequel gunner's heart look look out for it. It, it it eventually comes up for sale every now and then but if you do find that it shouldn't break the bank again this was 50 bucks new so and these last few games are games i got at the flea market uh yesterday as of as of the recording of this video and this is uh august of 2021 Local flea market finds. I think I found some some decent games here. Found two DS games and a PlayStation 2 game. Okay, first game. Point Blank DS. I have never seen this before. Uh, one time I did a trade to this, this dude from Japan, and he gave me all these PS2 and Super Nintendo and N64 games, which I sold. But there was a Point Blank like PS2 Lycon game that I was never able to play, and it looked interesting. And as you can see here, 
Ultimate Collection of Mini Shooting Games. So this is like point and shoot little clicky uh, mini games here that you can play with your finger or the stylus. And this is kind of cool. I played this for a little bit yesterday. Um, not a super expensive game. I've never seen this before again. So this is an uncommon to, to rare. I would say I've never seen it. The dude at the flea market said I've, I've never seen this before either. So pretty cool and it's complete. I just had the manual flipped over, but it's complete. Point blank DS. Okay, next one. This one's a hidden gem. This is a hidden gem. I, I don't like to even use that term anymore. I don't like it. it, it it's been soured over the years. Hidden gem. This is a true hidden gem. I've never seen this game on any hidden gem video, and I'd be goddamned if this ain't a hidden gem right here. I'm, I'm exposing this game to the world right here, right now. I was messaging Afro Gamer Dude about this because I know he's a DS collector, and this is a game that motherfucker needs to buy. All right. Oh, God. I'm excited. I'm coming in hot on this one, guys. Monster Tail on the DS. Good God, is this a hidden gem right here? This right here, if you look this game up online right now on sites like eBay, this is a uh, $70 to $80 game. Let me just say this. At $70 or $80, I believe that this game is absolutely worth the price of admission. Some may argue me on that, right? Argue. Some may argue. <laughs> Some may argue me on this, but let me tell you, Monster Tail DS, or this DS game called Monster Tail, this game's awesome. Ugh. And it's complete. So what is this game? This is a action adventure Metroidvania game. And it's it's awesome. And it's it's exactly what it says it is. Look, action adventure on the top screen and deep pet raising sim on the bottom. And I've only played this game for a few hours at this point, and it, it's awesome. And it's E for everybody, so everybody can play it. That's cool. Um usually I see a, a rating like that and I'm like, ah. But, you know, shooters, most shooters are E for everyone. I'm a shooter guy, so that really doesn't mean anything, honestly. But it even says it right here on the case. It says it, and it's not lying. The next great DS game. So when you see this, just know that it's not, this ain't no lie. It's the truth. Monster Tail on the DS. Again, if you go on sites like eBay, this is $70 to $80. At that price range, if, if you buy DS games you collect for the DS, that is absolutely worth the price of admission for this game. And mark my words, this game right here, and I don't know, maybe a few years' time, this game is going to spike in price. As soon as people really get exposed to this game on a larger scale, this is what this is going to be super expensive. I tell, I'm telling you, okay? If you are at all interested in this game right here, go look for it. This should be on your radar. I've never seen this before except for yesterday at the flea market, and it came home with me. And I was like, I just looked at the case, and I was like, for whatever reason, for whatever reason... I just, I just glanced at it. I flipped the case over and I saw that. I said, oh my God, look at that. Look at that. What the hell? I saw that dragon. So then I'm looking up gameplay footage and I'm like, huh. I saw a YouTube video. It said something about the, the, the greatest or one of the greatest uh, Metroidvania action games on the DS or something like that. And I'm like, what the hell? I've never, I've never heard of this. So yeah, you guys should look into this monster tale on the DS. And the last game, and this is uh, uh, just a disc, but Urban Rain. This is a, a Namco beat em up. Um, apparently, at, at some point, there's characters from Tekken, uh, Tekken series that appear in this game. Uh, fun game. I post pictures of this on social media. Played this for a few hours yesterday. And yeah, this is uh, you know, a lot of fun. Had a lot of fun with this game. Fun little uh, little beat em up. So this is something I would actually like to live stream. And apparently, a lot of you guys are very, very familiar with this. This was uh, this was kind of pricey. I paid like God, like twenty five or thirty bucks for just the disc. And I knew at that price that this must be some type of pretty decent game because they usually don't do stuff like that on the disc in a case. But uh, you know, hell, if it's a fun beat em up, I want to play it. But Urban Rain. Apparently, Urban Rain is a really cool beat em up style game on the PlayStation Two. But yeah, that's pretty much all the games I got over the past, I don't know, couple of months. That's a lot of games. I really don't feel like I've picked up that many games, but you know, some of the stuff like The Legend of Mana and Space Blaze and uh, the Cotton Reboot, at least the Switch one anyway, I got online. So a lot of that stuff came in the mail. So it was just a mixture of me being at the flea market, you know, getting stuff at lots of the flea market and certain stuff, you know, just me finding online. But anyways, guys, let me know what you found in the comments down below over the past couple weeks. 
Um, you know, sometimes you guys find a lot of stuff too. Most of my, all of my best games come from recommendations from you guys that watch my channel. Like people like Stilo. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't know about half the stuff that I own. So I'm, I'm real grateful that you guys put me down with a lot of the coolest games out there. And I got the best viewers in the world. So until next time, guys, peace.